What's up guys, Brownie Bits Gaming here, and I'm bringing you a brand new episode on the world of Odium. Now, today is going to be a very different episode, and the reason being is because I, uh, I need to do some grinding, and I am out of time as far as backlogging episodes go, um, especially for, you know, my trip. So, this one is going to be coming out a little bit later. It's going to be coming probably, I think I'm going to schedule it for either Tuesday or Wednesday of the week that I'm gone. Um, and the reason being is because I just, I ran out of time. There was some work conflicts that I ended up having to have, and I, I'm leaving a little bit earlier than I had originally planned so that I can go visit family and then some other stuff you know, popped up that I wanted to take care of before I left. Um, mainly chatting, uh, a, a big part, uh, uh, I wanted to chat with Nerd a little bit about, uh, so some of the future of our channel. So, uh, that, that was a really nice talk. I, I enjoy chatting with Nerd. Uh, also a huge congratulations to him, uh, on getting a hundred subs. I know I've been kind of spamming everybody. If you're, if you follow me on Twitter, I, I've posted quite a lot about it, um, but he's, you know, fantastic content creator and really just a fantastic friend. So I, I really, really do appreciate um, what he's done for me and what he's done for uh, this beautiful server known as Odium. Anyways, um, what I wanted to talk about a little bit today is um, some of the stuff that I've seen in my comments section. Uh, that's that's part of it. And then I, I want to talk about my trip and what the plan is going to be. You know what? I'm probably going to release this earlier. Never mind. <laughs> no, no. We're probably going to release this on time. It'll probably be uh, Thursday. So the day I leave um, is probably when this is going to release. Uh, so, but the, the first thing I wanted to talk about is some of the stuff that I've seen in my comment section. And nothing bad. You know, I've had a lot of really, really good feedback, especially in Brownie Land. You guys are absolutely killing it um, with the views and the likes and the comments on that series. Thank you so very much for that because, um, you know, it's really allowing... That series is really allowing me to stretch my creative foot. While this one is kind of restrictive, uh, Odium is a little bit restrictive because... I can't just go out and start a new build in whatever style I want to or whatever, you know. I, I can choose the style specific to me. Um, but this one, we all have to agree on. So uh, it's a little restri restrictive in that, but, you know, I'm, I'm okay with it because it teaches me to have different building styles. So, you know, I'm learning a lot a each time I log in and uh, do a new build on the server. I am really learning a lot. Uh, one about myself and my my skill set, and and two about the whole building process in Odium. And why? Okay, I was gonna say that was loading in beforehand. I don't know why that was not. That's not loading in now. I'm just over here, just outside of the village, um, because uh, it's it's really laggy over there, and I wanted to chop down some trees while we're doing this. Um, but yeah, so the first thing I wanted to chat about, um, I've seen a lot of people request to have servers or for me to start up a server or something along those lines for fans. Uh, the server I will be starting up for fans and this, this might go into a Windows 10 pocket edition, you know, that, that type of deal. Um, it might, we might be able to set up a server based off that, but, um, Right now, the only server that I have planned to set up is for Patreon or patrons of of my my work. So, if you want to support me on Patreon, um, there's currently open a five dollar tier, uh, five dollar a month, which is really not that bad. Um, and there are ten slots open. And once I reach fifty dollars a month on Patreon, then I will be setting up a um, a server for those people that support me on Patreon to jump onto and play. And uh, I will be joining in as well uh, and playing 
Hopefully, uh, depending on time constraints, you know, I may not be on there all the time, but there, you know, I will be popping in. So that's that's one thing. Um, the other thing is I've seen a lot of people ask about setting up a, a realms and I wanted to talk a little bit about this. When I first started my channel, I actually owned a realm and it was for pocket edition Windows 10 edition. Um, and I had it with a couple other YouTubers, uh, one Desert Rat, which you have seen on my channel recently because he is on the world of Odium. Um, and the reason I don't want to do a realms is because I actually had some really bad, um, ex or I had a really bad experience with realms. And the reason being is that. I had some tech issues with the ser with the server, and those tech issues was not easily fixed by myself. So when I went to go and contact somebody to try and get their help, I did not receive any help. It was always redirected to um, to the forums to try and get help there, and I I just did not get any help from them. And I was like, fine then, you know what, I'll figure it out myself. Usually all the problems I was able to figure out by myself as the admin of the, uh, the server. Without the console or without anything else, you know. So I was able to go into creative and kind of fix some, some of the stuff that normally, or that I was asking for help on. Um, so that was not that big of a deal. I did not appreciate the fact that I kept getting pushed to forums whenever... You know, they were supposed to be helping me out, but I was like, you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. If I can fix it, then I will fix it and then not worry about it. But what really got to me and what really made me upset and the reason I will never, ever, ever purchase another realm again is because when my character glitched out, my actual login glitched out. So I was not able to log into the server without it crashing my game. And I tried on several different modes. So I was on Pocket Edition and on my Windows 10 Edition. And it crashed the game each and every time. I contacted them saying, hey, this is an issue. I can't do it. And I can't get on the server to admin somebody else to try and fix it. And I got left with the cold shoulder. Again with the forums. And I kept asking and asking and asking. And eventually they just stopped responding. So I downloaded the world and canceled the subscription because they were not interested in helping me out. So in all, you know, it was, it was a bad experience. Um, I'm not saying that they, they have terrible customer service. I'm sure they're, depending on who you get and everything, but I tried multiple times and I'm just, you know, not going to go with the service again. Uh, so that will never happen. I will never have another realms. Um, because it was, it was just un, unbearably difficult to work with customer service. So with that being said, I am not opposed to having a pocket edition windows 10 edition server. But what I would have to do is go through a, a hosting website um, for that server. Um, which I don't know exactly how that would work with uh, Microsoft, or Windows 10 and Pocket Editions and that stuff. But Realms is not going to be ever a thing that ever happens <laughs> again. Uh, just, you know, it's it's goes without saying, you know, you're supposed to take care of the people that are your customers and I did not get any help. So no realms, <laughs> no realms at all. And that's not because I'm trying to punish you guys. It's, it's, it's literally because I just don't want to deal with that again. That was an awful experience. And I just, you know, e even if it's changed completely, I don't want to have the opportunity of it happening again, because in my experience, if it happens once, it probably will happen again. So, yeah, we're we're just gonna leave it at that. <laughs> no, no realms, ever. Um, but yeah. Uh, the other thing, 
And obviously this is something that the people who are doing it are not going to be watching this video. Um, which, okay, but I wanted to talk to you guys specifically. Um, there's, there's been some people commenting and I've actually ended up deleting comments like this because it's super spammy and really annoying. But, um, there have been content creators that have popped onto my channel and the most recent video and it's it seems like something that they literally copy and paste because it's it's pretty much the same exact thing over and over again but it's like hey i just found your channel i like it um and i subbed most of the time they did not actually sub and it's it's really easy to figure out so anyways i i like your channel and i subbed do you mind going and checking out my channel and subbing I have a problem with this because I work really, really hard, okay? It's not that what I do on screen is not the only thing I do. I'm tweeting a lot. I'm posting to different uh, Discord servers. You know, I'm talking to other YouTubers about possibly collabing. You know, there's a lot that I do behind the scenes to try and get my channel name out there. Never once have I asked for anybody to come check me out and sub. Obviously, you know, when I, I set up for advertising and that stuff, yeah, that's like, here, check me out. But I'm not specifically going out it or going about it and saying, hey, you should check out my channel and sub because that is rude to the content creator, especially if you're on their channel. If you're going onto their channel and doing that, it is, it is just extremely rude to them. Um, because they've put in the effort to make a video and you're just posting spam in your, in the comments section. That's what it is. It's, you know, it's, it's not cool. I'm not okay with it. In fact, if I see anybody spam commenting where it's a very clear copy paste type of form, um, your comments will be deleted and... <laughs> There are some cases where they it's happened multiple times and I have actually bl banned their account from commenting on my videos. Um, a fairly large YouTuber, in fact, has done this. And by fairly large, I mean he's, he's got over 2,000 subs. He's done it to me twice. And I told him the first time I was like, I will not do this. Uh, I won't sub because of that reason. But I appreciate you watching my video. And then he came back and said the exact same thing to me. Hey, you should come check out my channel and sub if you like it and join my Discord and blah, 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 blah. And then, no, thank you. <laughs> if I want to sub and I find you, I will sub. But please don't spam my comment section. Especially when we have people that are legitimately trying to get a hold of me um, and tell me, you know, suggestions, um, and their personal comments on the series and all that stuff. You know, there's some really important comments going on from my fans. And I don't want to take any of that, you know, space away from them. So if any of you guys are content creators out there and are looking to get in contact with me and chat with me about collabing, you know, that stuff, you, you know, I think I have my messages open tweet at me saying, hey, um, we, sh you know, I'm interested in collabing. Please don't, uh, advertise your channel. It's, it's not cool. And it's, it's really rude, especially to somebody like me. Oh, there's Spanky. Hello, Spanky. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to kind of talk, chat about that. Uh, most of you who are watching, in fact, if not, <laughs> if not all of you, most of you are not in the way of this. You know, no, none of you guys have ever done this to me and, um, I don't have a problem with it. You know, obviously I don't have a problem with you guys commenting, especially there's some people like a wandering nerd who had one of my favorite comments. I actually pinned it on my last, 
uh, well, not my last one concerning this video, but on the last one, uh, Brownie Land episode that I put out. Uh, so I think it was episode six is what I, I he wrote it on. But it was just this long nonsense post. And I I thought, you know, it was it was hilarious. That's OK. As long as, you know, it's not advertising your specific channel, because this is my channel. You know, I work hard to to advertise or not advertise. I work hard to get my content the way it is and to um, uh, find the right YouTubers to advertise because I am a family friendly co content creator. I make videos that are very specific uh, to family friendliness because I, you know, I have a young brother and I want him to have a positive source of Minecraft content. That he can watch and enjoy. And that's, you know, that's my primary goal of this channel is to, for that, everybody else that you guys are support, or, you know, everybody else that is supporting me, you know, you guys are just icing on the cake. <laughs> that was, when I first started this, that it was originally to provide a family friendly source of content for him and for him to, uh, you know, have a, something that he can look look at and be like, oh, this is really cool. My brother is a YouTuber. You know, th th and it, it's fun. It's it's a blast to do. I love doing it, and um, shout out to, to my entire family, which hopefully when I get back, you guys will have some nice vlogs. I'm going to try to vlog with all my family, and uh, we're just going to have fun. It's going to be a fun trip. So, yeah. I, I will be posting pictures on Twitter, hopefully. Either not if not during it, but after I get back, I'm going to try to do a hiatus from social media during this trip. Um, but I I will still have it on me at all times. So yeah, <laughs> I'm I'm super excited for it. We're gonna we have some really fun plans for the vacation. So I can't wait to to get down to Florida and just relax on the beach. <laughs> it's going to be a blast. I'm excited. And that's. A very long-winded reason, or long-winded uh, discussion of that, so. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, you know, it, oh well, it happens, you know, whatever. That's, that's what a talkie episode is for. You know, we're getting, we're getting some nice stuff going and all that. Oh. That was not the shulker box I was going to put these in. And I realize that now. Okay. And the final thing I wanted to talk about is the way that my content is going to be produced during this little trip. Uh, now, with this video coming out on Sunday, I've yes, I have changed it. For those of you watching at the beginning, yes, I have changed it. But uh, what I want to do with, uh, with my channel during this break is I started on Tuesday... Um, I started on Tuesday, Minecraft Story Mode Season 1. The main reason I started it, yes, I know, I'm very late. I'm almost two years late to the party. But the reason I started it is because they have recently announced, and it's going to be coming out very, very soon. But I should be done with the series, or the Season 1, by the time that I uh, that comes out. I've already pre-ordered it, I'm ready to go with it, so no worries on that. But... Uh, I started Minecraft S Story Mode Season 1, um, and what that's going to do, starting tomorrow, it's going to be an everyday episode throughout this whole time. We will not have a Brownie Land episode, we will not have an Odium episode until I get back. Once I get back, then I will probably put out an extra Odium episode and Brownie Land episode uh, to kind of make up for my lost time. The, the reason I'm doing it this way is because that was super easy. You know, I basically got all of those episodes recorded in one day. Um, it's a lot faster to do to get that stuff taken care of than, uh, you know, a true full-blown survival Minecraft episode. So, like, Brownie Land. Brownie Land can take upwards of three hours to make a 20 minute video, you know, and, and three hours, that's, that could just be, um, 
that could just be me grinding resources or setting the stuff up or actually doing the project that we're doing. Like the last one took a very long time. I think it did take right around three hours. The and well, the last. The last episode pertaining to when this video comes out. So the last Brownie episode, Brownie Land episode, Friday. Um, that took right around three hours to do. And that's a long time. And then editing, you know, editing doesn't take too long. I, I can get a video edited and ready to render out uh, within 10, 15 minutes, uh, depending on everything. Sometimes I can even go like... A, some of my brownie episodes take five minutes to do. They really don't take that any time hardly at all. Um, but the rendering then takes a long time to uh, to finish. And because I only have one computer, rendering a video makes it to where me recording is, is at least for Minecraft, the, the um, regular Minecraft episode. Recording a regular Minecraft episode and rendering out a video is nearly impossible with my machine. It, I can do it. I've done it before, but I, I've seen frame drops, frame drops. I've seen, um, overall lagginess and the quality of the video goes down quite a bit. And my goal of this channel is to make the best content I possibly can. So with that being said, obviously, um, that's, that's the thing that, you know, we, I have to take into effect, especially with how many videos I wanted to get out. So we did the story mode, uh, for every single day that I'm gone. And then when I get back, I'm going to try to continue doing every day in July. So, uh, I want to get back into that. And hopefully if I can do it correctly, I can continue that on as long as I possibly can. Now, July is going to be very difficult on me for that every day because I do move at the end of the month. So, <laughs> you know, it's just like one after another as far as what I'm, you know, having to deal with. But, oh well, you know, it's, it, it, it's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll get through it. We'll find a way to make it happen and, uh, hopefully I can get moved in. I, you know, moving my computer is easy. I can throw my computer into my car and be fine. It's my desk that really matters. Um, and so that's where the difficulty is going to really uh, show up. But uh, that's, you know, we'll, we'll work on that when it gets time to worry about that. Well, guys, I think we've covered just about everything we needed to do. So, or, Everything I, I wanted to talk about today. Sorry about it being a talky episode. And sorry about it being a long talky episode. But I wanted to get some things off my chest. And really just kind of vent some <laughs> some parts. But, and also let you know what's happening while I'm gone. Currently, Sunday, when this video comes out. I am in Florida, soaking up the sun and just enjoying life. So, uh, if you get this, and I, hopefully I'll remember. If you get this far in the video... Tweet at me. Uh, hashtag beach life. That's what we're going to do. Hashtag beach life. Tweet at me so I know that you got this far in the video. Um, but yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more content like this, uh, especially in the world of Odium, make sure you hit the subscribe button and check out my fellow members channels down in the comment or er, comments oh my gosh oh i'm tired down in the description below but guys thank you again and i'm out of here <laughs> peace out girl scouts <laughs>